hey guys it's your girl Vanessa here welcome back to another video in today's video I share with you a two-in-one high growth recipe that you only need to use once a week for extreme high growth now this contains only three main ingredients and I'm gonna get into that a little bit later on so you want to make sure that you keep on watching and you watch till the end of the video so you don't miss out on any useful information now before we get into the video guys I just want to say a massive thank you if you are a returning subscriber I really love and appreciate your support if you're new here please consider clicking the subscribe button to join the family and let's hop right into it so the first way that I will be using um, this recipe today will be as a hair growth spray so for this you are going to need some coffee I'm using some instant coffee here so I added about three uh, teaspoons of coffee and then I'm adding some hot water to it now you can use ground coffee for this if you want to as well but you just want to make sure that you strain it afterwards so you don't have some debris left in your hair now instant coffee is much better um, because it, it still contains the caffeine that you need and it just saves you the straining time so coffee essentially is really good for our hair because it boosts blood circulation to the scalp and this helps to transfer nutrients to your roots and as a result of that it causes your hair to grow faster and also become thicker so i just let that sit around for a little bit just so it could cool down now i'm going to transfer it to my spray bottle um, and that's kind of pretty much it so this is it for the first part of this recipe now I suggest that you use both together guys I will get a bit more into that later on um, so you definitely want to keep on watching so this is the spray done we're just going to set that aside and prepare the next um, recipe which we will use together now we are going to make the oil um, also so for this I'm using ground coffee um, and this one is not decaf guys the coffees that I'm using are actually not decaf so I'll suggest that you do the same because the caffeine in it is what is the active ingredient so I'm gonna add about two tablespoons or sorry two teaspoons of the ground coffee um, and then we're going to go in with our next ingredient which will be the second main ingredient for this recipe um, so we will be using some cloves now I grounded mine if you don't have a grinder in your house you can just buy the cloves powder uh, that you can find from the store now cloves are extremely amazing for hair as well because it helps to promote hair growth it also adds shine to the hair, it treats dandruff, it prevents premature growing and it also cleans and soothes the scalp. So I'm using about two teaspoons of that as well. So that's um, about two tablespoons of ground coffee to two teaspoons of cloves. Now the next one will be some rosemary. Rosemary is also very very good for hair. Because it does stimulate the blood circulation to the scalp which helps to promote hair growth it also has an analgesic property that helps to soothe and inflame scalp so it's really really good for your scalp health in general and also at helping promoting hair growth it also adds shine and luster to the hair so i added about i would say one um a teaspoon of that now i'm going to put a little pan on on the fire or sort of on stove now I'm going to add here some olive oil now I suggest that you use coconut oil guys um, for this or grapeseed oil um, I did not have coconut oil and that's why I'm using um, some olive oil but if you are to use olive oil it's fine you just want to make sure you don't let it sit on the stove for too long now after it's heated up for a bit I'm now going to go ahead and add my mixture so um and then you just want to go ahead and allow it to stir and fry for a little bit not for too long guys because the olive oil if it's exposed to too much heat it will oxidize um so that's why i was suggesting using coconut oil or gravesy oil so any oil that's resistant to heat will be much better um for this recipe so i did not let mine sit there for too long i think it was about three to four minutes altogether so it wasn't really that long so after that you just want to take it off the stove 
and we're just going to go ahead and strain it. Now to strain it, I will be using a kitchen paper towel. Now I've always used this guys, so if you've been watching me from before, you would know that this is what I normally go for and it does an absolutely amazing job. Now if you don't have this guys, I will suggest that you use a coffee filter or let's say a wig cap. Um, but you just want to make sure that whatever it is that you're using has some really fine um, holes so that it doesn't let through the ground coffee and the ground... Um, was that called cloves so I just pop the mixture on there and then I'm just gonna go ahead and basically just squeeze my paper towel then this one I'm using is extremely absorbent it's quite strong so it does the job really really well now at this point my oil was still a bit hot and that's why I'm using a fork just so I can you know squeeze it um, but I suggest you let yours cool down completely before you do this guys because you don't want to get burned um but i was just in a hurry pretty much Okay guys, so this is the oil done. So this is what it looks like after I have finished uh, straining it. Now this next step is completely optional. You don't have to use essential oils if you don't have them. But I suggest that you do use them if you have them because they're extremely beneficial for both our hair and scalp. So the ones that I'm using are tea tree, um, essential oil and peppermint. Now I love these two particularly because of the amazing benefits for the scalp. It also helps to improve blood circulation. So really, really good. You could also use rosemary essential oil. But like I said guys, it's completely optional. So don't worry if you don't have this. This oil is perfectly potent on its own um, without the essential oil, but it's good if you have it. So after it's all done, guys, I then transferred it to this little um, container so I can save um, the oil to use later. And that's kind of pretty much it done. Um, so you've got your spray and you've also got your oil. And I promise you guys, if you use these two together the way that you should do, only once a week, you will definitely notice your hair growing. Now, this is extremely, extremely beneficial and I do hope that you try this out. Now, I suggest that you keep on watching because I'm going to share with you how to use it in the next slide. Now, also, if you've been watching, guys, and you still haven't thumbs up or subscribed, please go ahead and like the video. It really helps my videos out. And also, I would love to have you around, so definitely click that subscribe button to join the family. Now, I'm starting here on kind of dry hair, but my hair is nice and clean. So the way that I'll suggest that you use this, guys, is basically in this way. You just need to spray the, the spray on your hair. Um, now, I'm not sectioning my hair here because I was going to go ahead and style it straight after anyways um, for work the next day. So that's why I'm not parting it. But I'll suggest that you do part your hair if that's what will be easier for you. So after spraying that all over my scalp, as you can notice, I did not spray to my ends because the thing with coffee is that it can make your hair a little bit dry, okay? Um, so I will not suggest that you spray to your ends if you are going to leave it in. Um, it's better that you just spray to your scalp um, and then that's it. So after I did that, guys, I'm now going in with the oil that I've just made and then I'm just going to, again, apply that to my scalp including my edges so pretty much every single bit of my hair now as you probably noticed earlier the oil does settle a little bit at the bottom so you just want to make sure you stir before you use it um, but it doesn't leave any debris in your hair or anything so don't worry about it it's just because the coffee and the cloves um, get a bit concentrated at the bottom that's all so after I put that on all over my hair guys, I'm just going to go ahead and massage. Now scalp massages, very very important for hair growth because again it gives you increased blood flow to the scalp which means more oxygen and more nutrients to your follicles. So very very good to have 
um, included in the way that you use this. So as you can see, I'm massaging here, including my edges as well. Don't neglect them, guys. We need to grow thick edges, right? Um, so after I did that, that's kind of pretty much it. I'm now going to go ahead and style my hair um, off camera for work the next day. Um, and then that's pretty much it. I'll suggest that you leave this in, guys. Do not wash it out um, to reap the benefits. So this is pretty much it for me. I do hope you've enjoyed watching. Please thumbs up if you did like it. And subscribe if you're not already. And I'll catch you in my next one. Bye.